sweet. Oh, hey guys. All right, technology is not my strong suit, so I really apologize if this is crazy and I am not answering the questions the way that uh, they are meant to be. Um, try swiping for a different look. Huh, what does that mean? <laughs> Oh, like a filter. Oh, look at that, guys. That's amazing. I'm all different colors. <laughs> okay, let's just go back to classic. No, pop. No, let's just no filter. I like a no filter. Oh, hi. Um, I'm at the Ellen show. I'm getting ready to do Ellen right now. What do you guys want to know? Talk to me. Um, what makes you do you what? What makeup do I use? Wait, is that what it is? Yeah. Um. So. Okay, cool. So I'm here today to talk about the um, longevity book. So the questions I would love to answer is about uh, anything aging, age related, um, anything about your body as you age. Um, I want to hear about women's thoughts about aging. I want to share my thoughts about aging with you. So um, what should we talk about? I would like to say that um, first and foremost, um, aging is a privilege. It's something that I feel like we uh, is not a given. Not everybody gets to age, and that's why I really wanted to uh, write this book is because I wanted to understand what aging was so that I could find the information to give to you to help you do what is naturally going to happen to all of us, which is age, if we're lucky. Um, so I found a bunch of information about um, what happens to us on a cellular level, basically what's going on in our insides as we get older, not just the wrinkles, but what's happening deep inside of our body so that we can learn to take care of ourselves uh, better so that we can be stronger for longer. Um, let me see, uh, is there a question? Hmm. Woo, I'm not so great at this. <laughs> ah, what is the biggest change that um, goes on within your body when we age? So basically what's aging is, is as we, when we are born, um, or as we develop, when we're first conceived, what happens is we, be, we, we become, we're one cell. And what happens is that all over our development, we become trillions of specialized cells. We become skin, bone, lung, heart, every part of our body, everything, your bone, your muscles, your skin, they're cells, but they're all different specialized kinds of cells. And what they do throughout your lifetime is they replicate themselves over and over and over again throughout your life. They die, and as they replicate themselves, the ones that replicated themselves die. So as you get older, it's harder to replicate those cells. And those cells inside of them is your DNA. It's the code to everything you. It's your script, it's your computer script. And your cells have to make that replication exactly the same every single time or else mutation happens. And as we get older, it's more likely that our cells will mutate. So it's very, very important to understand how to make your, to help your cells be able to replicate themselves the best that they can for as long as they can. This helps the slowing of aging. And the way that you do that is you do it with nutrition, physical activity, good sleep, stress release, and loving, meaningful, connected relationships. So basically, it's just living. Aging is just living. And it's living as best as you can. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm looking for a question. Um, so what is the most important thing that we can do in a day to keep strong and healthy through aging? So the, the best thing that you can do is just make sure there's the five pillars of well-being. And that's what I just said, which was nutrition, physical activity, good sleep, um, stress release like meditation or a glass of wine huh? or <laughs> but just one um, and uh, loving meaningful connected relationships basically a purpose for living and so if you learn what good is because we all know that yes we're supposed to eat well we're supposed to do activity we're supposed to have a good sleep but what what really is good nutrition what do your cells need to do, what do they need from you? What kind of nutrition do they need to be able to do the best job at replicating themselves? 
how much exercise, what kind of movement. It's not just exercise, it's movement. It's not being sedentary on a daily basis. We, in our society, we sit a lot. We don't get up, we don't move around. You cannot sit, you need to move around every hour for at least 10 minutes. You gotta get up and move your body around. You can't sit for four hours at a time. That's very, very bad for your heart. It's very, very bad for your, uh, for the function of your body because our cells need oxygen to be able to do what to to be able to do what they do, um, to be able to replicate, to be able to burn the energy that you put into your body. So when you're sitting around all day, you, it's no wonder if you eat a bunch of food. Those are calories, and those calories are fuel for your body. That's what what your body uses to do everything that it does, from breathing to your heart beating to being able to pick up a you know your purse or to drive your car. You put you put calories into your body so that your body has the fuel to burn that. So that nutrients goes into your cell, but it can't do the job. It's like fire, right? You, you when you need oxygen to make fire. The same thing in your cells. You need oxygen to spark the fire that burns that calorie that you just put into your body to be able to burn the calorie. If not, your calorie gets saved as fat. So, movement is very, 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 very important. <laughs> um, let's see. What motivates me the most? I'll tell you what motivates me the most. I for me, a good life, a good, healthy, long life full of love through full of capability, really. I want to live uh, I want to live to be a hundred. I do. I want to live to be a hundred, but only if I'm capable, only if I can take care of myself, only if I am contributing in some way and 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 being able to take care of myself. So what motivates me is to really stay strong, to stay healthy to take care of my body, to take care of my mind, to take care of my soul, to be able to live as long as I can happily and with capability, with being strong. So, um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to share something with you guys that I think is really important because um, about about stress release. Um, it's very, very important to release stress because stress is very, very damaging to our cells. And one of the things that I learned that I find really, really interesting and very important is that on the ends of our DNA strands, where all of the information of who we are is kept and replicated, and the end of our DNA strands, we have these little caps, sort of like what you have on the end of your shoelace that keeps your shoelace from fraying. Well, at the end of that DNA cap, that it's called a telomere, and a telomere has uh, is it has a certain length, and that holds your DNA together. Stress actually shortens those telomeres, and what happens is that the DNA that it's holding together starts to open up and fray. And what happens? We lose the information that our DNA needs to be able to replicate itself properly. And when that happens, mutation starts to happen. This is how disease starts to set in. This is how cancer is created. These are the things that are the worst possible thing that you can do for your cells, is to allow stress to take, to allow stress to damage your cells. So it's very, very important to release stress. And that you can do, I find the best way to do that is telomeres. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> not telomeres, uh, uh, meditation. For me, I do transcendental meditation, also known as TM. Look it up, you can Google transcendental meditation and find some place close to you that you can learn. It'll be the easiest thing that you ever learn and it will be more transformative than anything that you learn. It will change your life, basically. Transcendental meditation, TM. Um, let's see. Um, also, another thing, let's... Uh, oh, this is a good question. Um, how do I stay in a good mood? Well, all my friends always make fun of me because I'm like da 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 at like five o'clock in the morning. They're like, "What is wrong with you? How are you have so much energy at this time when I when I have like a, a an early call to go to set?" And 
I swear by this. This is this is the best drug that you could possibly take. I know everybody wants a pill to be able to pop and make them happy, but the best drug is exercise. Getting your heart rate up, allowing for your endorphins and hormones to be released into your body, which is a natural high. For me, first thing I like to do in the morning is get up, have a bite of breakfast, like a little something, whether it's just one egg or a piece of toast with avocado or some almond butter and a, an apple or a little piece of chicken, just a little bite to get my body started, started my metabolism going. And then I do, my, I do my workout and then afterwards I eat a bigger meal for the rest of the day. That also helps to repair all my muscles and help them get strong from the workout that I've just done. You have to pair your nutrition and your workouts together. You can't just work out and not eat anything. That's the worst thing that you can do. But back to mood enhancers. Exercise will help you be happy. It just does. You cannot be sad after you've sweated. You cannot be sad after getting your heart rate up. It's impossible. It's an uplifting mood lifter. It's the best thing that you can do for yourself. So even if it's for five minutes that you run in place or you put your headphones in and you play your favorite music that you love to dance to and you dance as crazy as you possibly can for two to three minutes, five minutes, and you just get a sweat going, you're ch you will change your mood without a doubt. There's no doubt about it. So if you find yourself kind of down, you're sitting around, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling sad, you're even feeling tired, exercise makes you feel more energetic. It makes you feel not as tired. So you might think that you're tired because you didn't get enough sleep, but really you might be tired because you didn't get enough movement. So get up, put your headphones in, dance like a crazy woman or man, get some sweat going and your mood will go up. Um, let's see. Um, what is, what is my favorite thing about aging? Um, okay, so my favorite thing about aging is, uh, just that. You just get to get older. <laughs> um, aging for me is such a, I love the actual experience of getting older. I love how much I know myself better. I love how... Uh, things just get easier. You know when you're younger, when you're in your 20s, you're just, you just don't know yourself and you make all these stupid mistakes and you make the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. And as you get older, that just doesn't happen as much. You, you start to know yourself. You have wisdom. You, you, are value, you value yourself for um, more. You have more value for yourself. You know what you're worth more as you get older. When you're young, you don't know what you're worth. You let people value you at the lowest level. And I think that as you get older, you understand that you're way more valuable than just you know, a pretty girl or a high butt or a big booty and some boobies. Like, you have more to offer. And I like that about uh, getting older. Um, let's see. Um, these are going by so fast. <laughs> What do I like to eat to feel strong and good? Um, healthy. Um, let me see. I think nutrition is the key to, well, I'm not, not just me. This is scientific fact. Nutrition is the key to health, period. There's nothing else that m it makes an impact on your well-being than nutrition. We are what we eat. We heard, we've heard it since we were children from our grandparents. You are what you eat, but this is really true. So for me, what, what do I want to be? If I'm going to be consuming something, what is the best thing that I can consume for my body? Straight across the board, there's nothing better than whole foods. Foods that have not been processed or preserved. Foods that you look at it and you say, oh, there's a zucchini. Hmm, there's an avocado. It's not been, there's nothing has been done to it yet. It's just been grown and preferably organic because organic um, is also, uh, it, uh, uh, commercially raised vegetables are also uh, full of pesticides and GMOs. So we want to go for uh, organic as much as possible, but just whole foods are more important than anything. Not buying anything that's been processed or has been put into a package to be preserved for 
10 years. You want to eat whole foods. You don't want to go to a, a, a fast food. Fast food is full of preservatives, full of processing. Um, you want clean, whole foods, and it tastes better. It's just better. Um, and I try to get all of my nutrition as much as I can from food. Uh, I don't use supplements really, I just do a multivitamin. But there is no magic bullet, there's no magic serum, there's just a balance. There's just, um, you know, with your nutrition, having a very a varied um, uh, um, diet that's not just eating the same thing all the time, but trying to get as many different vegetables and different grains as you can and beans and proteins. Um, we have a, a habit in America that we think that somebody tells us something's good for us and so we just eat that one thing like kale. Like kale is amazing but it's not the only green and it is very good for you but you have to eat other greens other than kale. Shards are amazing. Um, le there's different lettuces that are really great. Romaine lettuce has a lot of nutrients in it. Arugula. Anything that's leafy, that's dark green, collard greens, um, turnip greens, beet greens, we, we need all of the nutrients. And they all are, have a varied of different kinds of nutrients, but green, anything, and, and lots of different colors, red, orange, yellow, different colors, different textures of whole food. Um, let's see. Oh, I oh they just told me that I have time for one more question. So let's see what is this. Um, uh, oh, I, I'm getting a lot of invitations to come visit people, and I really appreciate that. I wish that I could. I wish that I could come and see you guys, all of you. But I'm really happy that you've been able to see me. Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's see. Um, Oh, I like, what's the best piece of advice I've ever been given? Um, I think the best uh, advice that I've ever been given is um, to have gratitude and to um, know that what we have, we have to work for hard for and that nothing's for free, you know? Um, my mom said that when I was, I remember, I got a Cheerios box and it had a free, uh, <laughs> a free little um, toy in it. And my mom, sa I said, look mom, I got this free toy. And my mom said, oh honey, that, that toy wasn't free. We had to buy that box of Cheerios to get that, to get that toy. And I remember going, huh, that, that makes sense. Like, it's not free, we had to pay however much. So in life, nothing's for free, including your health, including your well-being. You can't just expect that you're going to be healthy if you don't engage in your own well-being. It's your responsibility to take care of your body. Your body is the only body that you have, and nobody else can do it for you. Nobody can force you to eat something or stop you from eating something that you shouldn't. It's really up to you. Nobody can get you to go to sleep sooner than you're supposed to go to sleep, and sleep is so, so, so important. It's really what is... Um, uh, important for your body to heal itself. Um, it needs deep REM sleep. And so in the longevity book, what I've written this book for, for no other reason, um, it's not an instructional book to be like me or to tell you how to live your life. It's just the science that you need to know about your body, the most important possession that you have, the, the one thing that you cannot live without. You can live without that, that purse, you can live without those shoes, you can live without your, the, anything else, going to get your hair colored or any other thing that you possess. But you can't live without your body and it is yours and it is your responsibility and you should be grateful that, I, I believe you should be grateful for having a body <laughs> that will carry you through the life through your life and I really really hope that the information in the longevity book will help you to be able to have uh, uh, to take and learn about your body and live the happiest strongest healthiest life that you can as long as you can because that's just what I wrote it for I didn't write it for me I wrote it for you I want you to be happy I want you to live a long happy life and women ladies I just want to let you know this 
in America alone, there are 30 million women between the ages of 35 and 50. That's a lot of voices. That's a lot of opinion. That's a lot of power. And if we start to tell everyone that at 35, 40, 50 years old, life is good and we are happy and we are grateful for being here on this planet today because 150 years ago, life expectancy was 40 and women didn't get to get any older than that. And now we get to be into our 80s if we're lucky. So let's just say that this is the best time of our lives and let's go in it together and create a world that we want to live in where we are valued for more than just having a perky butt. And uh, that's about basically, basically it. We just need to value ourselves more and tell everyone that we are, show our value, what we have to offer, that we're better wives, better sisters, better mothers, better daughters, better friends than we were ever at, you know, that we could ever be at this point in time in our lives. So I just want to say thank you so much for um, listening and looking at my face, this face. <laughs> I appreciate it on Facebook. And um, I'm going to go do the Ellen show now. They're calling for me because, um, see, they're starting to dance. We all know what that means at the Ellen show. We all know what's starting to happen back there. So um, I'm going to sign off uh, for you guys, from you guys and have a – I just wish you all a really beautiful, long, happy, strong life. And I hope that the longevity book can be a part of that. All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you soon.